Yo, what is going on, Community Boy Fluids? Back in the video, and today I'm going to be doing an IW4X installation tutorial. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. If you guys do enjoy it, as my phone fucking goes off. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, please drop a like on the video, comment, and subscribe if you guys are new. And yeah, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so first you guys are going to have this installation file which you guys are going to download. You guys are going to want to click all three of these, um, unless you already have them due to Steam. Um, but I'm not going to go over that, so yeah, just click all three of these and download all three of these. Right here you can select where you want to download it to, I don't, it doesn't really matter, I like it on my desktop. And then that will turn into this file right here, it will, it will be IW4X, I just changed the name to MW2. But yeah, so once you click download and install, it'll be about 14 to 15 gigs, so have about 20 gigs just in case. Um, but yeah, so now you're gonna have all these files and I will have a link in the description below Sometimes it does not come with DirectX. So yeah, if it does not come with DirectX You guys are gonna have to I forgot to pull this one up, but yeah, you guys want to download DirectX right here um, And you guys just all you have to do is run you guys click download Do not click that. No, thanks I guess we'll get this download you guys will run it. I'm sorry, my screen went black. Accept the agreement next. Do not install the Bing bar next. And then boom. Basically, all you guys have to do. So, you guys, an issue I ran into the beginning of me installing this game was that this file right here, this Bing W32.dll, was missing. So, I mean, it is a bit sketchy sometimes, but just use your better judgment and Google Bing W32.dll download if you guys don't have it. If you guys get an error when you try launching the game. And if that doesn't work, if there's not that, you guys can always click 3 to repair your game. So yeah, like I said, that updater that I just showed you guys will be coming with your um, IW4X when you are finished installing it from the installer. So yeah, you should get all of these players, like, everything. It's pretty cool, actually. Alright guys, so next you guys will have XPatter, which is uh, a software that lets you use your controller. Um, that I use, um, people say saw something about big picture mode in Steam, but I don't know how that all works. But I don't know how that all works, and I don't really care to figure out because I like this way. It's decent enough. It's going to be buggy both ways because it's not supported. But yeah. So basically, guys, I have made two presets PS3 uh, and PS4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. So you guys can open the folder. Here's tactical controller layout, and that's where you knife with B and crouch with the uh, right analog stick. And then, yeah. And that's the same thing as Xbox, default, and tactical. So yeah. Um. If you guys need to change anything, you guys just open up XPatter as it's already running. I'm sorry about that. It will be running down here even when you close it. And um, I don't know why it's doing this because I actually have, I actually have, I usually use my PS4 controller, but I actually have an Xbox controller connected right now. But if you guys need to change anything, you guys can just click on the button and change to whatever needs to be on the keyboard. So yeah, it's pretty easy to do to fix. So yeah, let me know how you guys like that. Alright guys, so now we're going to be going over the minimum specs, so the minimum requirements for IW4X, well this isn't technically IW4X, it's MW2, but since they're basically the same thing and there's not really any uh, specs for IW4X that I could find, I'm going to be using these ones as a guideline. So yeah, right here we have Windows Vista X slash XP for your OS, I'm guessing everyone has something better than that. Um, AMD 64, 3200 or Intel Pentium for 3.0. 3 gigahertz or better, 16 gigabytes free hard drive space, and uh, 512 millibytes of RAM on Windows XP, 1 gigabyte of RAM on Vista, and I think you need, I would just say 8 gigabytes of RAM, man, to be safe. Um, video card, shader 3.0 or better, to 256 meg megabytes, millibytes, I don't even know. NVIDIA G4, 660 GT, or an ATA. Uh, I uh, radeon on a 1600 xt or better so yeah guys integrated graphics actually do work pretty well when you use fps boosts that are in the service which is either clicking n or slash fps in the um command prompt and every server i've ever played has had some but i haven't played like that many servers so i don't know all right guys so now here are the recommended specs and i don't really would i wouldn't really consider this recommended specs because i wouldn't really personally say this is recommended specs but it's from 2010 and there is an Intel Pentium with 3.2 gigahertz or an AMD Athlon 64 3200 plus processor better supported one gigabyte of RAM 256 millibytes of NVIDIA G4 660 GT or better or ATI Radeon 1600 XT or better DirectX 9.0 12 gigabytes of hard drive space like I said just be 20 to 30 to be safe or 15 to 20 excuse me to be safe 
and then uh 100 direct x 9.0 ce compatible sound card so yeah it's it's not that hard bro i mean honestly they're pretty easy to run so you guys should be solid all right so there's also gonna be this readme file in there and i want you guys to actually download this and make sure you guys download this this is like a I don't even know what to call this. I kind of threw this together because I feel like it would help you guys a lot. So yeah, if you guys get the air fail to download mod list, which I'll show you guys what to do there. But you basically just copy and paste this. If you want to go on the Whalian, there's only this for Whalian servers. If you want to go on the Whalian server, you just copy all of this. Make sure you get the slash and everything. Copy it, put it in the console, and yeah, then that's that's all you have to do. Then you load it in. And then uh, this is if you wish to trick shot with keyboard and mouse. And this is yaw speed, all about yaw speed. This was actually in the Discord of William, and this is a permanent invite for the William Discord server, so you guys can join that Discord server at any time. And then these are just my links for helping you guys. If you guys want to check me out, I would really much appreciate that. I, I do put a lot of hard work in this video. I did. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. This will help you guys a lot. This is stuff I kind of wish I would have known when I first saw on IW4X, but yeah. So yeah, now guys, we're going to launch IW4X, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how this works. But what I would recommend doing is going into your game folder. My game folder was MW2, and when I went in there, I launched it my, or I made a shortcut on my desktop. I would recommend you guys doing that. It's just so much easier. Basically, you guys can go to barracks, unlock stats, and you guys can unlock all your stats, max. Um, that's like the first thing I did. And there's challenges and everything, and I have goth boy click as my thing. But you guys can do whatever you want. I'll show you guys how to edit that. But yeah. So now when I go to join game, um, you guys can see all your servers, you guys can go to internet, you guys can refresh, everything like that. You guys have favorites. So my favorites is FFA server that's going on right now. Even though I get bad ping on there, I still love this. And this rough sniping server is really good. So yeah, if you guys want to join the server, um, there's a couple ways you can do that. So if you want to join William but you don't see it, um, in the Discord they actually have a section that tells you the IP. So then you would just do slash connect and then the IP of the server so yeah you can do that with any server you guys would like but yeah let me go to my favorites real quick and I'm just gonna launch and as you guys would see you say downloading fail to download the mod list so you do this and did I copy it I don't remember if I copied it read me by fluids okay so yeah we wanted to go into the FFA one so you're gonna want to copy that right there go back and IW4X open run underneath your escape key to the left of your one key will be um it'll be above your tab key as well it'll be the console you click that paste that in there boom and it's it didn't just darken the game it says up here what mods you have active so yeah now also i guess i forgot to go over create classes it's fairly simple you guys just create classes here but now you can join game go into that ffa server and boom now we can load right into that FFA server so that's pretty nice um but i don't really want to get into this yet so i'm just gonna do slash Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna just slash disconnect right away. Oh shit. Oh yeah, so I just want to disconnect because I don't want to go right into that right away. But um, so yeah, now I'm gonna be showing you guys how you guys can edit your calling cards. You can get your custom calling cards. So it's just slash calling. Oh shit. What are they called in this game? They're called different things. Uh, they're not called calling cards in this game. Slash, I think it's title. And there's one in here, custom title. So all it is is slash custom title and what you want. So I do slash. And then IW for X tutorial. So now it says IW4X tutorial right there. So yeah, you guys can do whatever you want. You guys can select whatever base one you want. So like, this is how it works. You guys select the title with the base, whatever one you like the background of, not necessarily the text. So I like the so baked one. That's what it actually is. But mine says IW4X tutorial. Um, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want. Um, Like, if you guys like money or something and you guys just don't like, you know, you guys can just do whatever you want. It, it's really cool. I really like this feature a lot. But yeah, that, that's basically the cool things you guys can do. So now I'm going to join that trick shotting server again, just so I can show you guys some uh, easy things you guys can do. And I'll show you guys on two different servers how this works. All right, so I'm going to pick a class. Say I want to, you know, not, oh, I forgot. <laughs> Yo, okay, so my FOV usually isn't up this much. Just going to knack it up for the boys. Can I get the knack? Dude, come on. I can't feel the, oh, there we go. There we go. You will get the knack.
So basically right now I'm gonna go over the settings. So in options, you guys wanna go to options. And also you guys can add to your favorites right here. Um, there's another way you guys can do it and I'll show you guys that later. For now I'm just gonna turn it down to my sniping sensitivity so it doesn't go wild. But yeah, so right here you guys can change your maximum FPS. And then on church running servers the maximum is 125. You're gonna, or maximum recommended is 125 so your kill cam is all leg. Like, and your FOV is here. So 65 is default console FOV. Um, I think it looks weird and that's just cause I play on 90 FOV. Um, so yeah, when I hit, when I play console, it's just really weird. The 90, I feel like this is my personal favorite. I don't know, it just feels right to me. But yeah, you guys can go through all your video settings, advanced video. I shut, I turn everything off. Um, but yeah, before the, the game ends, I want to show you guys. You guys can use slash FPS in this server particularly. It'll give you an FPS boost. It's a FPS boost toggle in the bottom left. And you guys can just, yeah, you guys have an FPS boost. So if you guys have a lower end computer, then this is like the perfect thing, trust me. Like when I was playing on W4X on my laptop and my other desktop, man, this was this saved me. But yeah you guys with that I'm gonna do slash disconnect and show you guys how to do it on other servers. Alright guys, so let's just go into this Rust sniping server because this is one of my personal favorites. Okay, so but on FPS boost on this server is N. So yeah, most servers it'll be N for FPS boost. This is FPS boost, and then this is non FPS boost, so yeah. And T is the chat, WASD, it's just normal stuff. You guys can look at all your guys' controls and customize them right here. Movement, actions, look, chat, reset your controls to default. And yeah, if you guys want to know this server, this is a server IP in the bottom, at the bottom of the screen. You guys can see that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave this server. So you guys can either just leave a game like that or do a slash disconnect into your command prompt. But yeah, guys, everything is going to be in a Google Drive below, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and that's pretty much the video. I mean, there's nothing else to it. If you guys have any, like, errors or any uh, thing you guys need help with, you guys can let me know in the description below. And also, the first thing in the description is going to be my new Discord. I'm going to be setting that up um, before I release this video. So if you guys want to play with me on IW4X, I'm going to be releasing that. So yeah, you guys can join my Discord server, and we can play IW4X and stuff like that together. So it'd be all extra awesome. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, don't you my food them out. Peace.